Hey guys, welcome back to Red Squirrel Tarot Messages. As you can see here, my dog has a muzzle on. <laughs> she just can't understand the concept of not snatching any item and every item that she can get her face on. So, I've decided that I'm going to train her with the muzzle. Even even if it doesn't really get my point across with her. Anytime I leave, she's getting that on her face. Because <laughs> she's just too wild. Her energy is too much. I don't know, maybe that's me. Maybe I've allowed it. <laughs> you know, uh, the energy you have with your pets, you share with them, right? A lot of times, you're very relaxed with it, right? Yeah, I feel like that's why people run into a lot of problems when they go to train their pets or, you know, uh, de-escalate the aggressive behavior, the stress that they carry with them. I've been watching uh, videos on TikTok. I don't like I have a TikTok, but I don't use it. I don't log in. I just I see it all over YouTube, like reels and stuff. Uh, or Instagram or Facebook, but that's really all I, I watch. Anyway, um, yeah, there's this guy. He calls himself the Dog Daddy. Just like Caesar Milan, right? They they're, they're not the same person. Obviously, they carry different energies, but they're extremely good with de-escalating the aggression from dogs who like to bark or jump up at people when they're on walks, and just like dogs that are very defensive and they seem really aggressive. Um, anyway, he's super awesome. And if you are having problems with your pet, I really do suggest you take time to seek him out and take a look at what he has to offer. Um, the card that came out just now is called, <laughs> called, oh my God, it's healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <laughs> exact energy, right? And this perspective she's my child right I don't have children I have my dog um so you gotta forgive things that you can't control right buddy and only then you will find success forgive and move forward that is what my dog and I are doing more like just elaborating on that forgiving both behaviors mine as well as hers <laughs> can't make this up if I tried forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments I know that's backwards it's how I roll it's not going to change <sighs> okay Pluto <laughs> transformation of power uh, I love life life is awesome oh yeah my mantra it's all good I'll save that for when I'm at my house I have my whole set up there attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully what you are seeking is seeking you. Attract it and it shall find you. Finances and career came out in the reverse. Financial issues are a factor in your love, right, love life right now. So that very well could be that you have an objection, objective that you are striving for. But you're not currently there at this time. But it doesn't. It That being in reverse doesn't mean that is not coming. It just means that right now you are not up to the standard that you set for yourself. That's okay. Striving, right? Saturn. Uh, 
I heard another. Re- okay, so I actively listen to tarot on uh, YouTube, but I generally am listening to it, not watching it. I have my earbuds in as I go and I do my job. So I'm never really looking at my phone because I have two hands that I have to continuously use throughout my shift. Anyway, so I heard somebody call this the Time Lord, the planet Saturn. Yeah. That's a 10. It's 19, it breaks down to a 10. 10 is uh, completion, right? Pluto's 22, breaks down to a 4. April 10th could have a significance to you. April is the fourth month of the year. Or October, November, December, October 22nd or October 4th could mean something to you. Also, April 19th. Romantic feelings are in the reverse position. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Uh, In the opposite. Just unsuredness. Somebody's unsure with whether they're feeling um, romantically inclined towards another person or it's just lust. They haven't made up their mind. Reconciliations on the bottom. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So time is on your side. Yeah, time is on your side. I'm going to pull up my playing card deck. I left a whole bunch of decks behind. (laughs) Yeah, I only took two with me uh, that I frequently use on the weekend. Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this could also tie into the finances and careers, right? Finance and career. Either way, get my message across. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, This is coming up out of the darkness. This is coming up out of financial lack, uh, being left out, just anything that has to do with you being on the outs in reverse. This is charging itself to reach to the top again. <clears throat> Cause when it's upright, I know this is just the playing deck, but in the, like the Rider weight deck or this other deck of cards that I have, I honestly, I don't, uh, I think it's the Scabero. New Age Tarot. Yes, I have the box at home. Anyway, um, when you look at those pictures in the upright position, the, the, the people on the outside of the building are already outside of it. They're, they're already left out. They're in exactly what this is. This is lack. But in reverse position, this is coming up out of that energy. Hope you're all doing wonderful and that the new moon energy is treating you well. Brand new information, Ace of Swords. Abundance in a new beginning, a new journey within your truth. Speaking your truth, stand in your truth at all times. Uh, The Ace of Swords also stands for honesty. If you start off in an endeavor with the full truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, you have nothing to fear. Truth in yourself. Truth in your own, you're walking in your own truth of a situation. Nobody can tell you how you feel. Six of Pentacles. This is having more than enough to go around. An equal give and take. I'm hearing fair, a fair salary. Mm. 
more than fair. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. So this right here is going to spark a new endeavor within a love situation. Either you're giving that love to yourself and you're filling your own cup, or this is somebody that's going to be coming into your life, making you that much more happy. This has to do with an Aquarius Libra Gemini. This is the Queen of Swords. It's the feminine energy. This could be cutthroat or just very blunt. Leader, nonetheless. Very knowledgeable to the air, right? Communication. This also has to do <clears throat> with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, the King of Cups. Now you could be born in the months where this uh, harbors these energies. Or these could just be placements. Six of Swords was on the bottom. It's moving forward. And having a fair, equal conversation on a level playing field. Five of Cups. Somebody's in regret about what has transpired or what has been lost. And just like the... Uh, Finances and careers and the romantic feelings in reverse. You know, this is somebody not sure how to take the plunge moving forward because they're still looking back at what they lost. Still have options in front of you. You still have two full cups. Or this is also signifying that somebody doesn't want to look at other options. That's why they're... They're stuck in reverse. Okay. Nine of Pentacles came out. So that's financial stability. Two of Pentacles is balancing it all out. Symmetry here. Two and six. That's balance. Knight of Cups. Um, just overall shyness. Shyness and uh, puppy love. That's grown. What may seem as puppy love, but like it's grown, right? It's inexperience. Inexperience in the love department. Moving forward. Having a conversation about their feelings. Not exactly sure how to talk about it, but the Ace of Wands, they're going to move forward moving forward from the Knight of Wands in and out to the King of Wands. This year, they're bossing up. They're deciding on their twin flame, working on their stability, financial, their skills. It's taken a long time. They've gone through a lot of bumps and bruises. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to do this one. This deck. The New Age Tarot. Working on stability for finances and fine-tuning your skills to get up to that lover. Working on it. It's a work in progress. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Confirming Cancer Pisces Scorpio. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Confirming the Nine of Pentacles. Independent learning. Independent... Independence overall. 
You want to be independently secure before you make your move forward. Cancer, moon energy, hidden information, uh, extremely intuitive, emotion present. Somebody's emotions are open. Somebody's heart is open and ready to go. Saw the ten of, yeah, the ten of cups flashed me. <laughs> and throw it back in. Uh, ten, of club, ten of cups just flashed open. The rainbow peeked out for a minute. Ten of swords was flipped over there. I'm going to throw it back. Betra like dealing with betrayals before is probably what was holding this back. Where they're at the five of cups there. Experiencing betrayals, right? But uh, this is going to be coming in fast. The knight of pentacles in reverse. When it's upright, he's moving at a slow pace. It takes forever because he wants to make a good, like the best decision. Reverse. I think some people would say that's stagnation, but in this case, for the level up and working independently, this is going to come in fast. The energy is reversed, so instead of being slow, it's going to be fast. Um, there's something that one or both parties are unaware of. This could be uh, the divulging of the information about how somebody's feeling. Or this could just be an obstacle or two that somebody doesn't really want to talk about. Or they just can't grasp at this time. Uh, information somebody can't grasp at this time. Why now? What changed? Yeah, seven. Five of Cups confirming the Five of Cups. Maybe somebody not completely understanding the lesson. Or understand not completely understanding why somebody can't dump the energy and move forward. This could be due to slander. Somebody, you know, talking behind somebody else's back. The Seven of Swords there, Five of Swords. Somebody's regretting what they've said. So you, that's 55. 55 came out twice, but that's also 1010. That's a closure. Four of Pentacles. But somebody, somebody could be talking about how somebody made money spreading rumors somebody being cheap stingy greedy yeah somebody talking about money motives okay betrayal third party situation somebody's somebody's now finally shut their mouth that's, you know, air energy, talking, communication. Knight of Wands. Somebody's one foot in, one foot out. They're not sure if they should say something because they're not sure of the reaction. So they're ready, they're ready to come in, but they're ready to leave just as quick because they're uncertain about the outcome of the situation. How how do I how do I start the conversation again? I want to come in. I need to talk to you, but I don't know if you're going to reject me. So I better, you know, make sure I have an exit plan. Yeah. Competition. Somebody struggles with self-worth. Holy shit. Um, King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Confirming the Queen of Swords as the energy, uh, but this is masculine and feminine. So it could be the battle within somebody's, the battle within self of an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini trying to balance out both of their energies. Masculine and feminine. In order to have a proper 
run at life. You need to be able to balance out your energies of your masculine and feminine. Oh, I had another flipped over card. I didn't notice. Oh, <laughs> ten. Ten of swords. Trying to balance out and let go of the pain of the past. Yep. Building a new foundation. Trying to get things off the ground. This could also be uh, somebody applying for funding of some sort. Like a loan. Takes money to make money. So in order to make more money, you need a stable base or a lump sum. This is going to be victorious though. So whatever financial um, restrictions or constraints that you've been going through, it's going to be lifted and you're going to be um, celebrating. You're going to be victorious in the endeavors that you choose to go through. Behind the six of wands is the empress. So you got this. Three. Empress is a three. So we see <laughs> three of swords. You could be seeing the number three, 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 33 or nine. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pull an animal card here or a few. Let's see how many come out and what comes out. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is Scorpio energy. In a new relationship, passion, sorry, let me say that again. Scorpion. In a new relationship, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. Equally balancing out your feminine and masculine, masculine energy. That's how I see that card. So it's just basically saying, watch your stinger, watch your ego, watch your defense, because you can set boundaries, but don't be defensive. That's a red flag. But that's the energy of the, that's the animal and energy that you're embodying at this time. Caution. what was it the, the scorpion and the frog there's a story of the, of the scorpion and the frog so the frog wants to get across the river and the or is it scorpion no sorry <laughs> sorry the scorpion wants to get across the river and there's this frog says yeah uh, I'll take you across. Just, you know, don't sting me and we're good. Scorpion goes, cool, deal. Now, the frog knew that there was a possibility that he could get stung and die. And, you know, thinking, okay, well, I've already made this contract. It's just basically saying, don't be shady, right? Watch out for shady deals. Um, things that can get in your way. Obstacles that can get in your way. So... Yeah, finishing that story, the frog gets stung uh, by the scorpion stinger and he dies. But the frog, frog knew the possibilities, still decided to take the contract. Mountain goat, fighting for love or ardent declarations may hide unfaithfulness. Literally what I just said. contracts, expecting what you've said the first time uh, to be sound because, you know, everybody, everybody's life is different. Everybody's perspective is different. Just be careful. Crab, share your emotions and regenerate love. Just take the chance anyway. You'll be better for the experience. 
You're the only one who can tell you when to stop and when to go. Orangutan. Working to live joyously, not living to work. <laughs> On the bottom. The cheetah. <laughs> A decision once made will be followed by unwavering action. So, somebody setting their sights and going forward. Decision that was made about a situation to follow through. There's going to be follow through. Just basically saying, pick the right direction, pick the right avenue, pick the right person. Don't go in blind. <laughs> know the information. Yeah. I would say just know the information about yourself. Know yourself. Know thyself. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me. If this message resonated with you, um, I'm really glad that I could give you some introspection within the situation. If you've been having any doubts, if this doesn't sound like your story, do not make it fit. You will drive yourself crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, have a good night and thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me and I'll see you guys later.